Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and in this video I'm going to show you some techniques on how to change the color of your line art for your illustration. One of the reasons why coloring line art is important because it tones down the original color of the line art and it helps blend in with the color palette, which is a great way to reinforce the mood of the artwork. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start by creating a new layer, and we're going to drag this new layer below the line art layer to create a clipping mask. But you'll notice that there are two horizontal bars that will appear in blue. So we want to use the shorter horizontal bar because we want it to be clipped to the line art layer. That way we can paint over it. Now with the clipped layer selected, Let's choose a color that you want to paint, and since I've already have my color chosen, I will just use the brush tool to paint over the line art. Here I'm using 100% of the opacity, and you may adjust it accordingly um, if you want to create like a softer blend or transitional effect. All right, now if we turn off the clipping layer, you can see the original line art in black, and that's pretty much how you would color a line art using the clipping technique. Next is a pretty straightforward technique. So with the line art layer selected, let's head down to the layer FX button, and then this window will appear. Then all you have to do is select the color overlay option and as you can see the color of the line art changed to brown and if i toggle the color overlay option off you can see the original line art you can also adjust the colors of the line art based on the color picker like so all right let's turn it off and let's move on to our next technique With the line art layer selected, let's head down to the adjustment button, and then we're going to select recolor. This window will appear, and then by default, this is how it looks like. For now, we'll keep the hue as it is, and the saturation at 100%. What we're going to change is the lightness of the color, and somewhere around the 20s and 30s range works well for this recoloring of the line art. All right, that looks good. You may also change the hue of the line art as well by adjusting the slider of the hue like so. And an important thing to keep in mind is to have the adjustment layer above the line art because anything below the adjustment layer will be affected. For example, if I move the adjustment layer above the skin layer, it's going to affect everything below it. All right, let's move it back above the line art again. And let's move on to our last technique. Okay, with our line art layer and brush tool selected, let's head up to the top right corner of the toolbar. Then we're going to click on this arrow and then we're going to check Protect Alpha. When you enable Protect Alpha, it allows you to edit only the opaque areas of the layer, meaning any areas that are transparent are protected from being edited. And to put it in simple terms, it basically means it prevents you from coloring outside of the line. So now you can start painting over the line art without worrying about painting outside of it. Okay, that wraps up this video on how to color line art in Affinity Photo. You may apply these techniques to other graphics software as well. It's just the terminologies might be different, but the concepts are usually quite relative. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something from it. 
let me know in the comment section below if there are any other techniques on how to color line art that I might have missed, and I'll pin it in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching, and feel free to like, share, subscribe, and on that note, I'll see you next time.